Hello everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another plan with me. This week I am super excited because I am doing a collab plan with me. This is our Secret Santa Planner collab, um, which is between myself, um, Rachel of Gathered Plans, Tay of Shantae Plans, Kiara of um, In Kiara's closet or planner, depending where you find her, and Nicole of 20-something planner. And it's a pretty simple idea, um, just that we did a secret Santa, but instead of getting your secret Santa a gift, you're doing a, a plan with me in their planner style um, or, you know, inspired by them. So really quickly, before I tell you who my secret Santa is, um, I would love if you, based off of the kit and the quick peek that I just showed of the spread, if you want to guess who my secret Santa is, um, who I did this spread inspired by, I'm going to pause really quickly, comment it down below <laughs> in the comments, and then I'll tell you and you can tell me if you got it right. Um, ready? It's Kiara. <laughs> it's super fun. I was really excited um, to do this spread inspired by her and um, yeah, I think it turned out really cute. I used this peach, sorry, this peach palm kit. I don't know the name of it. Oh, I think it was just Christmas maybe. Um, and it felt very like Kiara to me because it is super girly, um, and ha like hot pink, light pink, mint. I feel like that's very classic, like paper princess <laughs> colors. Um, and yeah, I just had a lot of fun with it. I, oh my goodness, did actually, you know what, before I before I get start talking, I, there's questions that are a part of this um, collab. So I'm going to, and I was about to start answering some of them without even addressing the questions. But um, I guess before I get into all of that kind of stuff, um, I do want to say that I will have everybody else's videos linked down below. Please go check them out. I am so excited myself to watch all of them. Um, besides the fact of just having all of these like Christmas and holiday themed uh plan with me's to watch today, which I'm so excited about. I'm excited to see how everybody kind of pulls inspiration from each other and how everybody manages the like, um, challenge of, of doing a spread inspired by somebody else. So, um, that's really great. The other part of this is that all, there are giveaways in all of our videos. So, they range from people giving away kits to people giving away gift cards to any shop you like to people giving away shop credit. So watch all the videos, comment on all the videos. I personally am going to give away shop credit to any shop you want, which means this giveaway is international. So stay tuned till the end and read the directions in the down bar down below to learn how to win that giveaway. Um, okay, so let's go to the questions first while I'm laying down the base. Um, who is your secret Santa? We already did that. <laughs> when did you start watching their YouTube videos? Uh, years ago. I don't know if it's like 2015 or 16 or something, but I have been watching Kiara's videos pretty much since I started watching YouTube videos, like being in the planner community at all, or even before I was a part of it, I would say. I've been watching her videos. I love them. She knows this. I've always loved her videos. Um, and it's been years, I think. Um, the next question is what's something they do in their spreads, um, that you love? Kiara has a way of matching things together and putting together a really coordinated spread. Um, something I used to love about her videos and still do is that she just would pull out all of these things that were just so coordinated, especially like her old setup videos of different papers and clips and washi tapes and stuff that she just put together so well. Um, and it was fun for me to kind of try to replicate that in the spread. Um, the next question is, was there something you tried to duplicate from their spread or their style that looks great when they do it, but you struggled with? Yes, that is what I just kind of skipped over here. And I don't know if you saw me struggling, but putting down the boxes and the headers. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't, it's been a long time since I've done that, but I don't think I ever really did it in the way that she did it when I was planning where I had three sets of headers. But nowadays when I plan, I do a header at the top of the column and then a header over the box, the full box. And then I, but I put them down, the full boxes down as I go. And I think I've always done that. I try to do the same layout that she does where she puts all the boxes down beforehand and does all, she like always does a thing where she'll pick out like three different headers. Um, 
and some of them are from the kit maybe and some of them are not so I tried to kind of emulate that and just like trying to figure out where the headers belong <laughs> and like where the box is. I don't know I struggled with that a lot um so there's there's that I think it ended up turning out well. Oh, the other part of it too that I struggled with after having laid down the base was I'm also not accustomed to having to make things fit into um, the box, like those morning, afternoon, night. Well, that's how I think of it. Uh, morning, afternoon, evening, because that's where it came from was those old Aaron Condren's that used to literally say that. Um, but I'm not accustomed to making stuff fit into like a, a full box size space anymore. So trying to like balance things that way, because now in my spreads now, I just kind of make things fit where they fit um, and allow myself that space. And that's how I operate. But anyways, so that was definitely a bit of a struggle. Um, I also talked over the date cover deco. That's to me, I'm like kind of whatever, because Kara doesn't really do date cover deco, but I still wanted to do it anyway. So I kind of kept it simple and just did some Sadie stickers. Uh, oh, actually, no, those lights uh, foiled lights are from the Pretty Pink Co. A lot of the hanging deco is from either the Pretty Pink Co. Well, most of the deco I used, um, the foiled like Christmas themed deco is from either the Pretty Pink Co. or Sadie Stickers for the most part. Um, and then I used some florals and this kit came with a lot of clip art and not just like floral deco. So I incorporated a lot of that into the date covers. Um, up top, I am doing a little gift tag with a paper the gift tags from missing me out and then the november script is from paper trail plans and adding some more kind of deco around it oh and then moving down into the sidebar this is something that i kiara's sidebars are super decorative generally i don't think she uses them functionally at all anymore um so i tried to kind of emulate that and i didn't put like a habit tracker or any functional like checklist boxes or day of the week boxes or anything in the sidebar I did this thing that she does often with washi where she'll pull out some washi tapes and then just do like decorative like stickers and washi tape in the sidebar at first I tried to use this clipboard box from the kit and you can see I gave up on that <laughs> I was like trying to lay out some of the deco stickers in it and make it look cute I could not I was failing miserably so I just pulled out some of the deco stickers and put them in between the washi and then some foiled headers and some cut up some florals and stuff and that was my sidebar Okay, moving into the day by day, this is actually I skipped ahead to December. I'm planning well the last week of November the first Oh my gosh, I forgot to mark Hello December. Wow, I'm totally going to go back and mark that <laughs> on Wednesday. Uh, so sad. It's okay. It'll fit in the full box I put on Wednesday. Anyways, okay. <laughs> um, so Kiara does something in her, a lot of her spreads where she will mark, and she's always done this. I feel like since I've been watching her, she'll take a sideways flag, generally from Clever Gal Crafts, and she will put a foil work sticker and she'll mark the days that she works. I don't mark the days that I work in my planner, but I do mark how many meetings I have a day in my planner. So I used these scripts that I have from Paper Trail Plans about how many meetings I have each day. And then I took a um, the flags from the kit, laid them sideways and added some florals, of course, because I got to add florals to everything um, and did that. I also marked uploading a haul. I took a box and just kept it really simple. Kara likes to keep it simple on her spreads for sure. And I took um, an old icon from a shop that isn't open anymore, but Kiara used to use a lot of, I did too, tasseled planner. Kiara uses a variety of icons and definitely still uses her old tasseled planner ones. So you'll see a couple of those throughout the spread. I marked uploading a haul. I also marked booking some more packing help for our move here. Um, and then some carpet cleaners and did some deco. So Again, all all inspired by Kiara. <laughs> Let me make sure I have some more questions here as I keep going. Um, okay, so let's see. The next question is, are you doing any secret Santas with friends, family, or coworkers this year? I don't think so. We had talked about doing a family secret Santa just because on my mom's side of the family, we tend to do like the, an overwhelming amount of gifts where each family gives every individual member of the other family's gifts. And it's like too much nowadays. <laughs> it's way too much. Now that we're all adults, it just feels silly. Um, so we had talked about doing a secret Santa for that instead, but I think we're just doing no gifts, which I'm really happy about. So, but TBD there. Um, the next one is what's something you did for Christmas at, or a tradition as a kid or before that you miss? Um, for me, 
I was thinking about this, something I used to do in like high school and college, one of my girlfriends used to do a secret, like an ugly sweater secret Santa party for our girlfriends every year. And then I think after college, it kind of fell off since not everybody comes home for Christmas or people, people's parents moved out of the, you know, area, etc. But I do miss that a lot. That was really fun. Um, and then I also miss when we had winter breaks when I was, you know, a kid and stuff and you have a couple of weeks off, we used to go up to Tahoe and go like stay up there, go skiing for like a week. And now with work and stuff, we don't do that anymore, obviously, but definitely miss that. Um, and then let's see, I'll, I'll save some of the questions for the end, I guess. Okay. So Tuesday I marked getting Starbucks and starting to film this collab. Um, I also marked the meetings again, the same way that I did on Monday. And then I marked having to call 1-800-JUNK. I tried to kind of mix up the icons. I still use a lot of my Crafts by Towie icons because that's primarily what I have. But like nowadays, I pretty much only use white dress stationery icons and um, Crafts by Towie icons, depending on whether I want a doodled printed icon or a foiled icon. Um, Kiara, though, uses a lot of different icons from different shops. So I tried to do that in this spread was where I could pull in, um, pull in different icons where I could. Um, I think I also was like watching a lot of her plan with me's as I was doing this, like pretty much the entire time I was filming this, I had her plan with me's running in the background, just because even though you watch someone for years and you feel like, you know, their style so well, when you actually sit down to do it, it's really helpful to like, I also had her Instagram open next to me <laughs> and like, you know, I don't know. I don't even know how well I ended up emulating her style. There's definitely stuff in here. That's my own style too, for sure. Um, but Yeah. Um, so, okay. Wednesday, I marked that we had, I had three meetings this day. I, we had to do two target curbside pickups because we were trying to get all of the packing supplies. I thought I had saved a lot more. I did save a lot of packing supplies from when we moved a year and a half ago. This is the week we moved, by the way. Did I mention that? We bought a house and we moved this week. <laughs> um, anyways, this, um, I thought I had a lot more stuff, but I think I had given some of it away when my parents were remodeling their bathroom and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, we kept having to go to Target to buy packing stuff because they had very limited amount of stuff. So I marked that. We also hired packing help starting this day. So Wednesday on for this week was just a mess in my life. You can see like I don't have my nails painted. I don't think I have ever come onto my YouTube channel in all these years without my nails painted, but I was just trying to like do everything like pack my house up film the collab work like family stuff I don't know anyways um so yeah <laughs> um so we had packers all day and then we also moved some of our kitchen boxes over and went over to our new house on Wednesday evening um okay moving on to Thursday I marked again three meetings using the flags from the kit um, some of them had bows on them and I had to turn them upside down or to the side and, um, the bow is now to the side, which I don't love, but it kind of is what it is. I was like, I can't find my, my clever girl craft stuff was packed way away. So that was just, it is, that was a, it is what it is situation. Um, I marked going to Starbucks and ordering Bodines for myself. I, we were, had already packed up our kitchen at this point. So there was no, no packing to be had or no cooking to be had lots of eating out. Um, and I marked, did I mark it yet? I don't know. I think I marked that we had packing help again, starting at 9am on Thursday. Um, I could not miss the opportunity, um, to put a weekend banner in. I used to do them every once in a while, but Kiara, I feel like super popularized these. I think, I don't know if she came up with them or who came up with them. It might have been two little bow babies that came up with them. I don't remember. It's been a long time, but Kiara definitely super popularized them. So I took some of my simply gilded washi that I used in the sidebar and some flags from the kit weekend banner from rose color days, and then some hanging ornaments as well to do the weekend banner. It just feels very quintessentially Kiara. Um, even though I had a lot of stuff to mark on the weekend, I just ended up not marking it and going for the banner because I couldn't miss that opportunity um, for a spread inspired by her, right? Like you would do the same, I'm sure. Um, okay, so moving back to Thursday, again, I marked another Target curbside pickup order um, because yeah, we just could not could not have enough moving supplies. I could not like fathom how how much 
more stuff we had in this move than our last move. In our last move, a year and a half ago, we went, we almost doubled the size of our living space. Um, like when we were moving out of the city during COVID and all of that, um, we had a way bigger apartment, our last apartment. And then moving from this apartment into our house, we had acquired so much stuff and we needed so much more like boxes and packing supplies and stuff. It was nuts. Um, okay. Anyways, I'm all over the place. Moving on to Friday, I marked, uh, Stephen had to bring over some cleaning supplies to our new house in the morning because we had our regular cleaners go to our new house to just kind of deep clean it before we moved in. Um, I used a Hello Petite paper icon to mark him bringing the cleaning supplies over because I wanted to, again, incorporate different icons the best as I could into this spread. Um, I marked again, we had packing help on Friday for the last day. We also had, um, a pest inspection done in our new house just because, um, yeah, we were worried we had termites, but we didn't, we just need a new roof. <laughs> so we're getting a new roof, but anyways. Um, and then I also marked that we got DoorDash, uh, for dinner from one of our favorite, uh, like burger. We get chicken sandwiches, but one of our favorite places. Okay. So moving on to Saturday, this was the big moving day. We moved on Saturday. We also had our roof patched again. We're going to put a new roof on our house in January, but it needed to be patched in the meantime. So they came to do that the day we were moving in. There was a lot going on. I marked moving with this moving truck from white deer stationery, which is so cute. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know, super cute, super busy day. We met with my parents or my parents came over and helped us, um, in the afternoon, they met us at our new house and they brought us lunch, um, and kind of helped on the other end. So I'm marking that with an Alyssa's craft shop, um, little box there. Um, okay. Oh, I didn't answer the last two questions. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Um, is there anything new you're doing for the holidays or Christmas this year? I don't think so. We talk about the secret Santa thing, but I think that's it. If we do that, I don't know. And then the last question is what's a gift you're excited to give this year? Um, I'm excited. I don't know. I have one for my sister, but she might be watching this. I don't know if she watches these ever. Corinne, if you're watching this, stop watching it now. <laughs> um, but I think I'm going to give her the knife that I use, which is a Shun Santoku knife. Really nice knife she's been cooking a lot. She moved into an apartment with her boyfriend and I feel like she needs a nice knife. So I'm going to give her that. Um, okay. That's pretty much it. I just marked some stuff moving, more moving stuff on Sunday. And then we had a big pizza night at my aunt's house with everybody in my family on that side of the family, essentially on Sunday night, which was really fun. It was also really different for us because I don't think we've ever like gotten pizza as a family normally like cook we're so centered around cooking it was just a new experience anyways okay I'm showing you the kit leftovers um I had so much fun with this I really enjoyed trying to replicate Kara style that was great um so as far as the giveaway there's going to be directions down below please just reference that I'm not even going to say anything in the video but um, look at the directions down below on how to win. I'm going to give away again, a $25, um, gift card to any shop you like. So that'll be up to you. Um, please check out everyone else's videos down in the description below. Um, this kit is from peach Palm. Oh, I have a code for peach Palm. I don't think I said that it's Lauren DEC. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Thanks to everybody in the collab for participating. I had so much fun. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye everybody.